फ्रेंड्स आई एम मनोज वेलकम बैक टू एस एफ एस टी बाई मनोज टॉमी सो इन टू डे सेशन विल टॉक अबाउट इन वॉइस करेक्शन रिक्वेस्ट एंड हियर विल डिस्कस वन मोर सीनारी ऑन इन वॉइस करेक्शन रिक्वेस्ट सो इन लास्ट सीनारी मीन्स फर्स्ट सेशन वी हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट इन वॉइस करेक्शन रिक्वेस्ट फॉर प्राइस डिफरेंस ओके इफ प्राइसेस आर डिफरेंस देन वी हैव टू गो फॉर इन वॉइस करेक्शन रिक्वेस्ट which we have already discussed so let's see in today's session we have to discuss about the quantity difference in which scenario we will have quantity difference less quantity when we will go for less quantity let's see here we'll use material code as mt01 okay this is our material code so in invoice actual invoice means billed quantity we have billed 10 quantity but when customer received the goods out of 10 quantity customer got two quantity as totally damaged if two quantity are totally damaged then will not take that two quantity to our plan so here whenever we have raised 10 quantity so customer has to make the payment of 10 quantity but actually customer has to make the payment of 8 quantity because two quantities are damaged so here correction quantity would be 2 correction quantity would be 2 and each quantity we have amount for each quantity is 1000 so 10 quantity means in billed quantity original invoice amount of invoice would be 10000 but actually invoice amount should be 8000 we have to charge 8000 because 2000 means two th- two quantities are totally damaged so we have to charge actually 10000 minus 2000 equal to 8000 so we have to charge the amount of eight quantity only not 10 quantity so here 2000 inr will be refunded to the customer by using invoice correction request we will deduct 2000 outstanding from the customer account by using invoice correction request so as two quantities are to- two quantity are totally damaged so we will not return the goods from customer location to plant location so there is no physical movement of goods okay so sales order type rk so we have already created our sales document as yrk so this is original invoice so this is previous invoice so we will create invoice we will create uh, invoice correction request with reference to this previous invoice okay so now we will create invoice correction request we have to take our own sales document type yrk standard sales document type for invoice correction request is rk transaction code is va01 select yrk and press enter so invoice correction request would be created with reference to previous invoice so take this invoice number 900 39761 sorry 90039761 click on copy then first one is credit line second one is debit line okay so we can change the debit line so in debit line we have to maintain a so we have to change from 8 less quantity so debit line will be 8 center so difference amount would be 2000 okay so this 2000 is in positive so customer account will be credited <coughs> then here what we have to do we have to remove the billing block then give the order reason so two things we have to do here we have to remove the billing block 
and give the order region. Remove billing block. Click on sales. Then give order region. Quantity discrepancy. Less quantity. Quantity discrepancy. Less quantity. Enter. Then if you want to give the PO number, give the PO number. Save it. Then go to invoice PF01. Enter. Save it. Now accounting document generated. Accounting document generated. Click on change. Go to accounting. So first line is customer code. This one is customer code 100346. So check the posting key. Posting key 11 will be credited. Customer account will be credited here. Sorry, customer account will be credited. Okay, so we have to refund. So customer account will be credited here. So 11 is C. C. Okay. So customer account we are credited. Mm -hmm. So what is the accounting entries? Company account will be debited and customer account will be credited. We have to refund the amount of two quantity to the customer. So customer account will be credited over here. The next scenario quantity difference more quantity. We will use material code as MT01. We'll use we have built 10 quantity to the customer that is build quantity but here two quantities are over delivery so by mistakenly we have charged the amount of 10 quantities instead of two quantities two quantities are over delivery we suppose to charge for 12 quantities suppose to charge the amount of 12 quantities but here we have charged only for 10 quantities. So correction quantity would be 12 here. 10 plus 2 equal to 12. So 2 rupees will be charged. Sorry, 2000 rupees will be charged from the customer here. Okay. So you know, invoice correction request is YRK. So we have to take this invoice IP. So for this invoice, I have already created for 10 quantities. You go to PF02 or 03 to see this okay this is 63 we have to take 62 62 inverse number 62 so i have created for 10000 we so amount is 10 sorry 10 quantity amount is 10000 we suppose to build for 12 quantity okay so go to ba01 Invoice correction request, keep previous invoice number, click on copy as, then here you have to change from 10 to 12. Enter. So here 2000 is minus negative. 2000 negative means accounting entry will be reversed. Here customer account will be debited and company account will be credited. So here we have to do two activity we have to remove the billing block then we have to give the order region remove billing block go to sales staff and assign order region quantity discrepancy more quantity give purchase order number if you want to give purchase order number save this then create invoice not delivery create invoice enter then save it. Then go to VF01. Sorry, go to VF02. Go to VF02 and accounting entries. Here you can see posting key. This is customer code. Okay, this is customer code. Your posting key will be 01. 01 is for debit. It would be debited. 01 debit D debit okay so accounting entries here customer account will be debited and 
company account will be credited so in next scenario we will discuss some errors related to invoice correction request what are the list of errors you can experience in your real time project we will discuss one by one so friends thank you very much for watching this session happy learning